How's it going everyone? My name is Chase and in today's video we're taking a look at the brand new Tractor Control S2 Mark III. This controller might be small but it packs a really heavy punch. I'm going to be telling you why this is one of the best affordable controllers on the market and stay tuned towards the end of the video as I compare it against the S4 Mark III. You are not going to want to miss this. Let's do it. Alright guys, this is the Tractor Control S2 Mark III. This is Native Instruments budget controller. What I mean by that is this is like their entry level controller. It starts at a little over $300 and for the value this controller has, it's actually it's a pretty good value and I'm, I'm going to explain why. There are some things I like about this controller and there's some things that I don't like as much about this controller. First of all, I'm just going to get this out of the way now. This controller does not come with one of these. This is a AC power adapter. It does not come with one of these out of the box. It only comes with a USB. And you're probably asking why, and I'm not really sure why. So if you freak out, if you buy one of these and you don't have one, just just a heads up. It doesn't come with one. This is a nice USB cable, but this this guy is right now getting power by plugged into this guy, my MacBook. So I'm actually not plugged into any power in the back, but just the power from my MacBook is powering it up. So. I just want to get that out of the way because um, I was like, what the heck? When I opened it up, you know, in the box, I got the controller, the USB cable, and of course the software download uh, for Tractor Pro 3, but no power cable. So maybe in the future they'll have one that you can purchase because on the back of here, I'll show you later, this has an iPad port. So I'm assuming that Tractor is redesigning their iPad application, and this will be a very compelling controller for people who want to bring an iPad and just use this. And that's one of the reasons why I bought it is I actually have the S4 Mark III and I wanted a smaller controller that didn't take up as much space that I could use my iPad in the future. So I'm buying this controller for the future of what Native Instruments and Tractor, what they're going to plan on doing for this specific model and then how they're going to integrate this with potentially an iPad or an iPhone. So. Let's go ahead and get into the features. This actually takes the same features from the S4 and you have this mixer, this FX select. And one thing you're, you're probably noticing is, you know, in the previous generations, you had mixer, um, the effects, that they're on top. You know, you could do the, the crazy effects um, that are also in the software and you can control them by, you know, wet, dry, on and off up top. But this whole bar is gone and they've now replaced it with the the new FX select here. So this, this has the other effects that the S4 has. And if we're playing a track here, I select one by clicking a button. Right now none are on. Now I have a reverb. Now it is post fader. So you get that nice little tail off. Flinger. Again, post fader. Get a filter. Get this like double time effect. That's the other thing I want to talk about. You notice there when I when I spun it back, this doesn't really have a lot of spin in these jog wheels. Let's go back to the beginning of the track and I'll show you what I mean. If I'm playing this track right now, it sounds good when you scratch it. Take that off. And the thing that I've noticed with the jog wheels is this is the same exact size as the S4. This is a plastic rim. This controller is mostly made out of plastic. You have this metal accent up top. Um, and there's no actually, there's no rubber buttons on here. They're all, they're literally all plastic on this controller, which I found pretty interesting. But here's one cool thing that I'm gonna plan to do in this controller. You can take off, let's see. You could take off the knobs and online, I'm sure you're, you're gonna be able to get some nice little rubber colored little knobbies that you can put on here and customize for your pleasure. So I plan on doing that with all the knobs on here just to make it more customized, which would be kind of cool. 
but overall the buttons don't feel too bad. Just going through and clicking some for you. And at the end of the video, I actually plan on doing a comparison between these buttons and the S4 buttons. So stay tuned towards the end and I'll show you how they kind of differ and feel like. But talking about the jog wheels here, like I said again, same size as the S4. You have this metal accent. Um, from when I was comparing like the feel of the two, they feel really similar, if not the same. But the jog itself, this is kind of light. It has good tension on here, but if I am, if I am playing a track, Like spinning kind of hard there and it doesn't really have a lot of play when you're spinning back a track so just keep that in mind um, that this is not going to be like the S4 you have a grid button right here and if you press this and you rotate this at the same time you can adjust the grid in real time when you're playing and that's one of the new features that I really appreciate they also have the reverse and then if you have the flux on if I actually stop the track will continue playing which is kind of cool and then this also has hot cues, just like the S4 has. So they do feel pretty nice. The buttons actually, this one compared to the S4, they feel a tad bit different, but these are a, um, a rubber, rubber-ish type feel on this. And then you also have samples that you can load in this controller, which is cool. This has the same loop features as that does, where you can move the track right here. You can set the parameter of the loop in. This only says pad mode right here. These are not screens. This does not change within the Tractor Pro 3 software. You can take a look of how big the loop is and what happens when you press on it. But this, this function is the exact same. So if I'm playing the track here, see, that's how you start it. You can move it that way. You press this button. I can close it, open it, which is kind of cool. And then here, you have your tempo slider, so if I turn the track back up. And the other thing here is, you know, you have the little LEDs that you have right here. On top, you do have a microphone button, and you plug in the mic. It does take a jack, so one-fourth. On the front is the one-eighth, the standard for, like, a typical style of headphone so this is this is pretty easy if you want to go ahead and have a mic on the back and you just press this button to activate the mic and turn it off which is which is pretty convenient that I like and then on the back of the unit here you only have the RCAs as a master so keep in mind um, this doesn't have any booth or different type of masters you're gonna be primarily using RCA which is completely fine by me and then you also have the uh, 15 uh, volt AC adapter on the back which I assume in the future they may sell something separate um, for when you want to plug in the iPad because ironically if I plug anything to this port nothing happens so right now like I said it's plugged into my laptop and that's how it's getting power but overall I, I do think this controller has some value in here and what I mean by that is if you've never used Tractor before this is an excellent controller to pick up if you want to learn the fundamentals of Tractor and to have it be almost future proof if they plan on adding some support for for iPad or even iPhone where you can you can lug this around this is not very big as long as you have an external power source you can provide it power and it can be an awesome solution um, for a house party or even the club if you don't have a lot of space and you're comfortable using this if you don't need to use any crazy effects and if you don't mind the FX selection that they have here and the other features that this controller had this controller will serve you well and I bought it because I, I like doing little mobile gigs here and there when I don't want to bring my S4 and go to a house party this will be my go-to and if they do come out with stuff for the iPad I'm gonna be stoked because I really want to use this with my iPhone or iPad in the future so now I want to compare this against the S4 show you the size difference between the two and just show you how they differ in the different features alrighty now we have both the controllers side by side on the left here we have the S2 on the right we have the S4 both mark 3 both are awesome controllers I want to go through real quick before I talk about the differences I want to click a couple buttons and just 
I want you to hear the difference when we're clicking things. So on the left, we'll start clicking some of the cues. Right here, the play button. Tempo slider. Channel fades. As you can see, you can definitely hear a difference in the two because majority of the buttons on here are plastic. Majority of these ones are a soft touch plastic. A lot of them are also rubberized where they are soft touch and they feel nice. So definitely a little bit of a difference there, but the jog wheels blow my mind. These jog wheels feel really nice for a entry level controller. And these ones are, I know they're an upgrade. They feel heavier and of course they have the haptic drive and they also can be adjusted and, and play um, like they rotate but they actually feel really comparable sure these have a lot more tension they don't spin as much but overall I do like the jog wheels on this controller they did a really good job with um, the price point of this controller and the overall construction of it. it still feels like a nice controller it is made out of mostly plastic the frame on here but it does feel really nice so let's go ahead and take a look at the back here just so I can kind of show you the difference here. So on the back, like I was saying, you have the two RCAs, you have this iPad slot, USB, and the 15 volt. You have the mic here with your gain. Um, and then you also have a little, I didn't even see this, you have, uh, looks like a, um, a 1 8 master out on the back. So maybe for like a, a phone or something you can go master out or into which is kind of cool so I didn't even see that before is that what it is yeah it is what it is I didn't even notice that before and then also check this out you have these these two slots here if your guess is as good as mine I think these are for an iPad stand so what would that look like I kind of wonder you know maybe that would look something like you have that right here put this right here okay I think we're starting to get somewhere you take maybe a new iPad you kind of put it all on top here and I'll kind of show you what my dream would be it would kind of look something like this iPad on top this guy on the bottom I think that would kind of flow nicely this being plugged into the iPad port, you'd have some the metal stands right here, and this would function very similar to where uh, hopefully you know they'll update the Tractor DJ application, and this would be a super rad setup, and this would kind of be like my dream setup. I, I do love Tractor and the things it has to offer in this controller, because by the way, if you haven't purchased Tractor Pro 3, that software is $150, so. The fact that this controller is only double that and you get the software bundled with it is a pretty compelling package. This doesn't come with any intro software, this comes with the full-fledged Tractor Pro 3. So you know this is an awesome controller and I do recommend that you do check it out if you want to get into you know Tractor Pro and kind of explore all the features, this would be a perfect entry-level controller. So I want to know what you guys think. You know, are you picking up the the S2 or are you picking up the S4? You know, both are really awesome controllers and I advise you to check them both out. But I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video. My name is Chase and I would uh, I would appreciate if you could leave me any likes, comments, or you know, even subscribe to my channel. I plan on covering more of these controllers in the future and also if they come out with a tractor application updated for this one because right now this application does not run on this or on that. So stay tuned. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you guys out in the future. Peace out.